angles and their measure. When two rays meet at a point like this, starting point here, and this is a ray, another ray, and then this is the angle formed by these two rays. And if it is counterclockwise, we measure the angle in terms of positive measure. Let's say this angle A. If we have a ray here and straight perpendicular, then we know this angle is 90 degrees. If we have a an angle here, straight, that's 180 degrees. This is half revolution. Okay, and this side is called initial side. And this one, where the angle stops here, terminal side. And as we know, if we go about a point, one whole revolution, counterclockwise, that's 360 degrees. We can also measure these angles in terms of radians. So what is one radian? Suppose we have a circle of radius, say, R. And if we take this length, this R, it can be measured in inches or feet. That length on this circumference, R here, okay. Just this length, now we are measuring here, this R. And if we connect this, then we have a central angle here. Okay, this length is R, and this is also R, and we measure this arc length on circumference is R, then this angle is one radian. This is how one radian is defined. Defined, okay, this is one radian. So if we have a 360 going around one full rotation, okay, one full revolution, that will be two pi. So if we have 360 degrees, that's one revolution, that is same as two pi radians. Uh, radians are important later in calculus. That's why we are interested in learning radians measure as well. Now, we need to know how to convert between degrees and radians, okay? From this relation, uh, 360, uh, 360 degrees is two pi radians. So if we divide both sides by two, we get uh, divided by two, divided by two, 180 degree degrees, that's one half revolution, is pi radians, okay? Divide both sides by 180, then we get, this implies one degree equals, divided by 180, pi over 180 radians. So this is the formula we use to convert degrees into radians. Instead of dividing by 180, if we divide by pi both sides, then we get one radian equals from the same, we get one radian equals divided by pi. So 180 over pi degrees. So if we want to convert radians into degrees, then we multiply by 180 over pi. Okay, so let's do some examples. Okay, convert the following angles into radians. Let's say 60 degrees. So to convert this into radians solution, we multiply 60 by, look at here, so degrees into radians. We need to multiply by pi over 180. 
so 60 degree times pi over 180 radians that is now 60 means 60 over 1 so 60 is on the top and 180 on the bottom so we can write in lowest term so 60 uh, 0 0 divided by 10 divided by 10 now 6 goes 18 3 times 6 once 3 and 1 times pi is pi over 3 so pi over 3 radians okay in the same way if we have let's say 40 5 degrees and we want to convert into radians all we have to do is this is same as 45 multiplied by pi over 180 and we get radians that is now 45 over 1 45 is on the top and if you try 45 times 2 90 90 times 2 180 so 45 goes once 45 goes four times so pi over 4 radians okay uh, then we can do this same at the same time uh, we if the angle this is the initial side let's say and ray if it goes counter uh, clockwise sorry the positive angles are counterclockwise if we go clockwise then the angle becomes negative like here okay this is the ray this is right triangle right angle but clockwise so this is negative 90 degrees okay and as we know uh, earlier uh, 2 pi radians is 360 that's one revolution if we have both then we get pi equals 180 if we divide by 2 pi over 2 radians is 90 degrees and if you divide by 2 1 half pi then it will be a quarter pi or pi over 4 that is 45 degrees and we just found 60 degrees is pi over 3 that means pi over 3 is same as 60 degrees okay and we figure out pi over 4 okay I mean you can easily get these relations now let's do two more examples where we convert radians into degrees okay convert into degrees suppose the angle is given by pi pi over 12 generally the radians are not mentioned if it is pi pi over 12 we need to assume this is given in uh, radians because of the presence of pi so we want to change into degrees so pi pi over 12 we need to multiply by something if we go up here radian into degrees we need to multiply by 180 over pi so we multiply 180 over pi degrees and let's cancel the common factors pi pi cancel 12 180 if we divide 180 by 12 12 goes once it goes 15 times so 5 times 15 that's 75 degrees okay in the same way let's say we have just one half radians okay sometimes the radians measure can come without pi then if we want to change into degrees this is one half we need to multiply by 180 over pi okay and that is what now 2 goes 180 90 times so 90 over pi degrees okay this is in the exact form 
or you can replace pi by 3.1419 or you may use your calculator 90 divided by 3.14 and whatever you get that will be an approximation but this is the exact value final